Okay, so we are here with Susan Kahn, she's Jim Robles' wife, and in addition to the many hats you wear, one is being an expert, and you're going to show me how to pick hops. Okay, the hop cone, they're always clusters, and what we do is we pick one at a time and we pluck it off like this, we don't squeeze them and we just pull them off, and then put them in the basket. And even if they're slightly brown, that's acceptable because it's the center of the hops that we want to keep protect protected, and that's where the flavor comes from. It's the center of the hop that is crucial. If you look at the little yellow inside, that's lucans, which is the flavoring, the bittering that's used for hops. And so this hop is a bittering hop. It's called Mount Hood. And is the smell any indication of how it tastes? No. No, it's all, to us it smells wonderful. If you were here under the tent, it would be the only smell that you would be really bringing in. It's not even the smell of beer. It's a very floral, citrusy smell. That if you like a hoppy beer, you really smell that in the, in the aroma from the beer. So is so this a bad, this one yeah, I can't? we would not okay. pick anything that's dark brown. That's already dried out on the vine, and so we don't want to use that. Some of this damage is from being whipped around in the wind. In upstate New York, we have some huge windstorms, and so every once in a while, you'll see ones that are badly damaged, but a little bit of brown does not matter. 